With rumors of the new Switch console were released, we thought, now's the perfect time to do a Switch collection video. I'm Scott. I'm Jen. And this is our Switch Collection 2024. All right, so you're gonna notice some sealed games on the table. Don't panic. Don't panic, calm it down. It just lets us know we haven't played them yet. Yes, uh, this is not a lot of Switch games. We get that. It's still 65 it's games. It's still 65 games, but it's not the biggest Switch collection you've ever seen. It's not the only console I own either. Exactly. No. We tend not to buy games on the Switch that will perform better on another console because it's a little underpowered. We're hoping the new release will be a little bit more powerful, but I think there's a lot of hidden gems here, a lot of classics, maybe even some potential future heavy hitters, but we're gonna talk about all of them quick as possible so this video doesn't take an hour and a half. And with that being said, I'm gonna shut the up and we're gonna start. So we're Jen's making me do this in alphabetical order because she's crazy. <laughs> It's not going to stay in alphabetical order. <laughs> Number one, you're starting over there, which is towards hey, the end of the alphabet. Are we doing this? Are we going back and forth? No. Just shuffle them all? No. Yeah. No. Okay, so you're going to go from that end we'll and start, work our way I'll, I'll let you start with this one first because you played it. All right. Yeah. Astral Chain. Astral. I love this game when I first played it. It was recommended uh, to me, I think, by Retro Wolf. Retro Wolf and Level 857. And Level 857? Yes. It's been a few years since I played it, and everything I remember about this is the combat is kind of, it's unique because you're tethered to, uh, I can't remember what to recall, but it was like... Like this beast, kind of. Yes, you're tethered to it, and so, so you, you fight together with yeah. them at the same time, and I remember graphically really beautiful, different looking, and the music was amazing. Yeah, really. yeah. But like I said, it's been a few years. But it's a must play. I, I loved it. Not going to talk about this one for too long. It's Axiom Verge. We haven't gotten around to it yet, but it is a pretty tough, from what I understand, game. The graph, the graphics on this one is amazing. Very uh, old school retro graphics, but looking forward to playing it nonetheless. I don't know whether to put it over there or not. Put it over there. <laughs> we'll start my pile and we'll put mine over here. Fine. We got Blade of Fury. I haven't opened it yet, but um, that's your chance to comment below and give us give crap. Me but I've uh, looked at a lot of gameplay and I was like, ah, this one looks really cool. Um, it's a basically a beat 'em up or a hack and slash side scrolling with beautiful artwork. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. Really, I have no idea why we picked I this up. Assume Jen picked it up. No, it's a 2v2 tag team kind of fighting game. It's sealed. It's sealed. I don't Jen loves honestly know. Picking these things up. Yeah. It does. No, it's a... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'll it's eventually... a co-op game, I guess, right, if it's a 2v2. Right at the moment, I haven't been into the uh, 1v1 fighting games. I've been dabbling in other genres of mm -hmm. games, like especially RPGs. Yeah. But I used to play a lot of them. So yeah. We'll blame that one on me. Okay. You're next. This is definitely yours. Ooh, Bravely Default 2. RPG I must get to. Yeah, I haven't touched it yet. It's, it's, it's still sealed. Now, Bravely Default the first one, is that not on DS? Uh, it's either DS or 3DS. I, can't okay. I think it's DS. Yeah. yeah. I think we have it. Don't think I have it. No? no. Okay, then I'm lying. All right, right off the bat, we're just going to take these three out all together. And I was hoping Ooh. I would get these ones because I have played all three of them. So if you love Castlevania, and I wouldn't say that's the definitive way to play Bloodstained. Blood that is the way you played it? It is the way I played it, and I didn't have a problem with it. Uh, Dennis played it on PS4, and he thought it played better there. But I mean, he didn't play it on Switch either. And then Curse of the Moon and Curse of the Moon 2, I picked up at Siege last year and opened both of them. So those were sealed a month ago. So we are opening <laughs> our games, but these play more like old school Castlevania. Yes. What do we got here? Ah, The Binding of Isaac. Another Asperger. tough game. Tough game. I have dabbled with it. Um, it's roguelike. Yeah. I'm not very good at it. I was talking to a coworker and she played a ton of it 
Yeah. Told me all these different things about it there, but I'm just apparently not that good. <laughs> but I'm betting I this could is enjoy it. It says on the back one to four player. I don't know if that's co-op or not. Ooh. Let me know in the comments because that might be a way you guys can drag me through the game. Yeah. Yeah. I think that could be cool. Oh, another one I've played literally every game on the uh, cart. It's Being Home, Alone With You, and Worse Than Death. I've played all three of these, and I really enjoyed all three of them. I played them towards the last of 2023. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I was I was supposed to do that for camera, but I haven't been. But I enjoyed all of them, uh, all for different reasons. What's this one? The Coma Recut. Recut. This is definitely a gen game. Yes, and you know what? It's kind of crazy that I picked that one up because it's more... Is it puzzle solving? No. Mystery? Walking I... sim? It's not a walking sim. Do you know what game it reminds me of? That game on the PS4 that we played a little bit of that you enjoyed mm, more than I did. Mark for Death? Or Mark? Death, Death of... Deathmark. Deathmark? Okay. Yeah, you enjoyed Deathmark more, and I believe that I one... Because I'm, I'm into comics, and that's what's... It, it, that one kind of gives me those vibes, kind of a graphic too. novel feel to it. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what I was looking for. All right, a uh, collection of mana. I've played, I've never finished Secret, Ma Secret of Mana on the uh, Super Nintendo. We ruined I it didn't. for him. Yeah, like, yeah, don't play co-op with your friends. And, Co-op, don't play RPG co-op. Don't play, friends. yeah, don't play RPGs with your friends. If they're not as there. into. I just, yeah, they ruin it for you. Uh, I haven't touched any of the other ones. I haven't touched Trials of Mana yet, but definitely want to. And then there's another one called uh, Final Fantasy Adventure on the back. Oh. So I should dabble in that one. Yep. It says, like, it says one to three player because I know Secret of Mana is. I don't know to. if... Yeah, no, I'm not playing it again. But a lot of that, too, was... When you, with when, RPG, when... you need to really get yourself kind of involved in the story and really sink in there. And when I got two clowns that don't want to read the story or get involved <laughs> with it or anything but like that... But the action was so slow in it. Once you the would... Secret of Mana? Yes! Because it had like almost like a charge, but you couldn't go hack, yeah. hack. You had to like hack once and wait for a charge up again and then hack again. Yes, yeah. it, was, it was kind of maddening. Um, ooh, Cave Story Plus. I have played this one through. This was my game just before Siege. Uh, it's a Metroidvania. Really, really fun game. I didn't get the best ending from it, but that's okay. I really enjoyed my experience. There was a few would things. I like that? that. It's really, really good. I think you would enjoy it. You didn't it. answer the question. <laughs> I, I do. I think you would enjoy it. And it's is not. This a new stack? It is. Give me the. Okay. You done talking with yes. them? Yes. You have to be anyway. Yeah. I uh, have the uh, Cartoon Network Battle Crashers. I'm sure we bought this because it was co-op. Yes, it's one yeah. to four player. We haven't touched it yet, but we got second hand. That's why there's no seal on it. Yeah. We will have to play it eventually. Definitely. I, well, I end up games. grabbing everything I see that, especially it's multiplayer, like co-op, like one to four player, so the three of us can play. Mm -hmm. I love this. Cuphead, it is tough as nails. Don't Throw believe Captain nuts. Algebra if he tells you otherwise. It's a tough <laughs> game. It's a hard game. And I uh, drove Scott nuts because uh, I forced Jen him to Jen made it. me hate the game because she wouldn't let me have a break. Yeah, it's such an amazing art style. Amazing music. Good. And yeah, really good. it's a really, really fun game. If, as long as you don't play with Roy. Yeah. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze is Jen's all Yes, day it long. is. And I played through it, and I mean, it definitely gives you vibes from the trilogy, the original trilogy. Uh, I really loved it. I assume most people who played it did, but again, really, really true to the trilogy, I think, anyways. Oh, Where that's right. You just took my yeah. Death's Gambit Afterlife. Oh. I grabbed that one because of the, uh, the basically the artwork the of the art. whole game, and I think it's a Metroidvania. That's yeah. why I thought uh, I got. I basically got it for you. It says I'll poster it and sticker inside yeah. on the on the cover. Nice. So I'll be excited to open this up. But yeah, I do think you got it for me. I love Metroidvanias. I'm right there between 
maybe loving them more than horror. I think so. Yeah. Demons of Astaborg, if I say that mm -hmm. correctly. Uh, this is one we're both excited to play. I originally wanted this uh, physical copy for the Sega Genesis because yes. they'd made them. Like, but with shipping and us being in Canada and it was coming from overseas and all that, it was it was going to end up costing me more than what this cost me. So yeah. I'll play it modern. It would have been cool to have it on the Sega Genesis, but yeah. Um, it's I'm really basically excited to play it too. gave me vibes of like not ghouls and ghosts, but maybe more of like a Golden Axe ish. Yeah. I'm I'm reaching at that point. I remember the graphics was really cool, and I think it was the whole the whole thing of being able to play a new game on a retro console that yeah, sold me. Yeah, it definitely definitely looks cool. I know I want to play it too, so eventually we'll get around to it. Demon X Machina. I know you want it. This Machina. I think it's Machina. Machina. Sorry. <laughs> I, as soon as I said it, I'm like, like oh, you sound dumb. You Demon try X. It again? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Pretend I didn't do that. Okay. Oh, Pretend I didn't do that. Pretend I didn't do that. Okay. All right. Next. I don't know what I did there. Demon X Machina. Uh, I know you really want it. I one. got it for me. Um... GameStop. Well, yeah, we bought it at GameStop. Uh, it's I, becoming hard to find. Yes, it's one of those, you know, you watch YouTube and people say you must play, you must grab this. Yeah. It'll eventually be hard to get. Stuff like that. Looked at the gameplay, thought it looked cool. So, yeah. So, um, happened to stumble across it one day and I was like, I'm might as well pick it, it up. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well grab those two together. Two together? Yep, these were limited run. Double Dragon. Four and Double Dragon Neon. They're both sealed, but I have played Double Dragon Neon on the Xbox 360. Mm -hmm. uh, played with uh, another friend, Pat, uh, and then I played a bunch of it by myself too, but this is two player. I really like the. There's a lot of like 80s oh, themes yeah. to it. They're like. I remember something. I don't know if, uh, like, if you die and possibly to revive the guy. It shows a cassette player and you're rewinding it. I can't remember exactly oh, okay. what it was, but there's so much 80s theme in this one here. It's yeah. really cool. And this one here I haven't touched yet, but I but I love the Double Dragon like, series in general. Yeah. We've been talking about the possibility of playing more just... We tend to play more three-player, four-player co-op, but we might need to start playing those. Well, that's the problem. I have a lot of co-op games, and I know Alex is not going to play that. It's not Alex. He no. loves the shooters. Yeah. Okay, next up, Demon Throttle. This one looks very Zelda to me. I picked it up, uh, I can't remember what YouTuber said or where I seen it. I know I seen it on YouTube and I was like, that's cool. Yeah. Um, started looking for it. I think we picked it up the parlor. It's a Peggy 12, yeah. whatever it is. Uh, typically try to stay away from Peggy games for any other reason other than but it was 20 bucks. I like the NTSC copy. Yeah. Probably better, but yeah. it's all the same to me. I do have a bunch of Peggy games. Demon Throttle. Next up. Final Ooh. Fantasy Collection. Uh, this is. I've played one, two, and three. Yeah, which are not one, two, and three. Yes, they are one, <laughs> two, and three. Are they? Yes. Our Final Fantasy two is actually Final Fantasy four. Well, I'm that's what I'm Nintendo. saying. That's what I'm saying. There's. Not. This is. The one, two, and three is the, as is meant to be, but yes. it's different. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. The Pixel Remaster Collection. Maybe. Jen's going confused right now. <laughs> <laughs> I I, uh, I had never played any of them. Um, out of the first three, I enjoyed the first one the best, mm -hmm. and then the third one the least, the least. so far. Uh, I think because I went into the first one not expecting much, and then it was quite pleasantly surprised. Yeah. And the two, I don't really remember much anything about two. And then three, I remember if I didn't have the blood sword, I think it was, there I don't know how I would have beat the final boss. Yeah. It's like Okay, next, forgot man. Forgot why I bought this. Oh I'm looking at the back, it looks nice. I don't even what is it called? You didn't forgotten say Forgotten Man. Oh forgotten I man. Did say <laughs> forgotten man. Forgotten man. Yeah. 
I know I looked up gameplay. I know graphically it looked really cool. And it was not expensive. Nope, that's a lie. It was $59.99 maybe? Okay, I don't know. It was expensive. And I picked it up. I'm... I play, I Good play comeback. Yeah, whatever. Ooh, Fatal Frame, Maiden of Blackwater. Like, why is that still sealed? Because I haven't touched it yet. We have to play all of them. Uh, yeah, I've only played the first Fatal Frame. Yeah. It was really cool. I played it on the original Xbox. I do have the other ones on the original mm -hmm. Xbox also. And then... Behind us. No, no, not the original Did Xbox. PS2 one might be oh, right there. Oh, yes, it is. Um, there's also another one on the Switch that I don't have. I can't remember what it's called or off the top of my head, but... I know exactly I what you're talking about. would bet money that you would enjoy them. I know I would. Yeah. I know I would. Ooh! Flipping Death. So, I played a little bit of this one, maybe a couple hours. It's really interesting. It's more of a puzzle solving, a little bit Metroidvania. You have to get certain things to bring to certain ghosts. It's really fun game. Oh, I started this. You game. started it I too. I never finished it. No, though. and same with me. I oh, you never finished it. it? No, I played I thought a couple you finished hours. It. No, played a couple. That was hours. me too. I played a few hours of it there, there around Halloween time, and then. Uh, but it's really enjoyable. It's fun. It's a really fun game. It's kind of a fun, cute game. Yeah, Maybe it's nothing why. that you're gonna get too worked up about. It's no. kind of almost a cozy game. Not quite, but almost. Yeah. yeah, there's no combat, it's just a puzzle game. Well, no, there is no, a little, bit, a of little bit of combat. A little bit of combat. More to collect. I think it was like souls or something you needed. I, I can't, can't remember. remember. It's been a couple years yeah. since So this is a twin pack of Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII Remastered. I the played... twin pack that ruined Scott's experience. <laughs> I played the Final Fantasy VII on this one, and I gotta tell you what, I did not like it. No. Nope. Didn't like it. So... Hit me up in the comments, let me know if I should play Final Fantasy VIII like this, or should I play it old school, because I do believe I have it on the PS1. Yes, you do. Or is there a better way to play it? Because I want the best way. Yeah. I still have yet, haven't yet have yet found that Final Fantasy game that blows me away. <laughs> Remake! <laughs> Rebirth! Yeah. I didn't even have to cough those. Remake! Rebirth! Playing Rebirth right now? <laughs> I'm loving it! <laughs> Next up on the list, Horror Tales The Wine. I've oh, that just, sounds like I want to play that. I have just complained in a recent video about how much a I hate wife horror, that complains. Wow. horror walking sims, and I think I bought another horror walking sim because I ordered ordered a limited run game, and I'm like, you can't order one, you gotta order two. And that's what happened, so. Oh. We'll see. It might be really good. You sound very hopeful. I'm like, uh, yeah. Ooh, Hades. Hades. Uh, another tough game. I have not finished it. I wouldn't say it's tough. It's roguelike. <laughs> it's, uh, no, not really. Uh, it's just, because it's roguelike, you constantly have to do the same level until you level you up good. to a point of where you can get through it. Yeah. And you do the same thing. Combat, everything else is really good. I just, uh, I think I played it one day, and I played it for probably like eight hours. And it just, Eight hours went just like that, and I loved it. I never went back to it, and I don't really know why. I don't have a good reason why, but... Sounds like you gotta play the rest of it. Possibly. All right, we have Hollow Knight. This is such a cult classic. Kind of sad it's still on the backlog. Kind of scared to play it. I know it's a hard I've game. I dabbled with it because I think I had it on The art Xbox. style is amazing. Yeah. The art style is but amazing. But I haven't played much of it. Yeah. I hear it's tough though. Yeah, I do too. Ooh, Kaze and the Wild Mask. I played it. I bought this for Jen because I knew she was going to love it. Because I loved I it. watched another YouTube video yeah. that compared it to uh, the Donkey Kong Country games. But what is the other game too where you're constantly changing your masks? Are you talking about the Sega Genesis game that yeah. we played? Yeah, what is it uh, called? Chameleon Kid. Yeah. Kid Chameleon. Sorry. Kid Chameleon. It's on the wall over there. So I know people compare it to Donkey Kong, but I also get some Kid Chameleon vibes from it too. A different masks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's a really fun game. I think it's the gameplay that they were comparing. Like yes. The platforming. Hundred yeah. percent. But the hardest levels is when the screen moves with you at the same time, and you gotta keep up with the speed, and you gotta like Aww. pixel perfect jump. It, not quite that tough. 
I got through it and I loved it. I would love a Kaze in the Wild Mask too. Make it for me, Switch. Make it. Come on, Nintendo. <gasps> Luigi's Mansion 3. I played through this with Alex. Uh, drove him crazy calling... Uh, Gooigi. No, I didn't call him Gooigi, which is what he was supposed to be called. What were you calling him? Googie. Googie. <laughs> Look at Googie. We had so much fun with this one. I really kind of want to get to the Would you HD. play that one with me? I would 100%, would play, it again? 100% play it again. Okay, cool. You could play Luigi and I would play Gooigi because okay. Alex played Gooigi last time. Oh, okay. But just the differences in what the characters can do, because Gooigi is essentially goo, and yeah. he can get through places that you can't, like bars like and stuff. Slime, like yeah. ghosts. Yeah. yeah, but if he gets hit with water, he disappears, so that's... There's some difficulty uh, and some cons and pros to each character. Live Alive. It's got... It's an episodic it's game. A, it's got eight shorter RPGs, but I do think they all culminate at the end. All the characters from all the different stories. Mm -hmm. I think, I think. I don't know 100% because I don't want to ruin it for the myself. you one, correct? I've only played one of them. You can randomly pick whatever story you want to start with and play them in whatever order you want. Or that, I played one that, where you were uh, a ninja. Oh, okay. I enjoyed it. It's tactics, turn-based combat. I didn't find it overly difficult. Graphically, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. uh, like I said, I don't know much more than that. Um, YouTube sold, uh, sold me on it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Next up on the list, we have the Ninja Saviors Return of the Warriors. I, the, this was a purchase that I made, I think, the same year we got the Switch. Oh, okay. That's and probably why I know nothing about it. I will blame Happy Console Gamer for it. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Ooh. It's, it's two-player. It's a nice. little stiff comparable to um, what is it, it? Final really Fight Games. That's what I would compare them to. Kind of stiff in the combat, but... I'm enjoying the graphics of it. You'll enjoy the graphics. Yeah. We should play through it. I would play through I it again. I would definitely play through it. Yep. It's not very long. No? So, no, yeah. So oh, we okay. could sit here in one evening and, and power through it. Sounds like a game to add to my list. Yeah. I, I don't, don't even, even know why we have this Nexamon kid. Extinction? I, I, I know I brutalized that one. Is it Nexamon? Did we buy this for Alex? Yes. Did... I bought this because it is basically a Pokemon clone from what I can tell. And he was like, eh, whatever. And he didn't give two craps about it. it. So, ended up in my collection. Um, I don't know, at some point I may dabble with it, but I'll be honest, I... I'm not a Pokemon guy. No, I... Um, please feel free to... You know I'm into RPGs, but I I, I just, just... Pokemon, I don't I don't know. Where yeah. would I start? Tell me the one Pokemon game that's going to hook me. Yeah, because like yeah, we just... We, we pass on all of them. We're like, meh, pass. Yeah. All right, Octopath Traveler. Is I it have the not... first one? Yeah, yeah, the first one. I have not tried it yet. It looks... Beautiful. Super cool. Yeah, it does. The it's little, really I'm cool. looking at the sprites on the back and they yeah. look really detailed and nice and I really yeah. enjoy What's the art it? style. I, you know me now, if you're watching this for a while, I will grab every RPG that interests me. It goes on the shelf because you know how long it takes to play them all. Not and just that. And I pick a few off every year. Yeah, yeah, not just that. If you do, a good RPG or an underrated RPG is almost impossible to grab later. I don't know when the last time I seen one of these around town. Yeah. So that's the problem. That's I don't want to have to go online to buy it later when I'm walking. And then to spend it. twice as much. And plus, where it's staring me in the face in the game room, I'm like, well, I gotta play. I, gotta yeah. play I was just saying there, I gotta play Earthbound. I gotta play Earthbound. It's like yeah. sitting on the shelf staring at me. True. So. Okinawa Rush Ooh. gives me big double dragon vibes. Nice. Is it a two player? Two player. Er, yep. It's uh I think I seen it on Square Pegs' video. One yeah, of yeah. videos there. Yeah, and I, I was think like, so. oh that looks so fun. So Next. Oh worry. <laughs> I went oh, all and then I went worry. worry. So I did play both games on this. Uh they are amazing metroidvanias but do play the first one first because it gets even better in the second one 
the story gripped me right from the start. I was hooked within minutes and I loved these fully and completely. I really want a third. Such a great series. Huh. Next one I haven't touched yet. I keep forgetting about it. <laughs> Panzer Paladin. It's a uh, very old school looking graphics. Uh, I think people kind of compared it to maybe like Blaster Master where you can you can get out of your mech and your mech you can get a bunch of different kinds of uh, weapons and stuff like that. Yeah. I think I've seen a lot of it on maybe Half Console Gamers YouTube and He's uh, getting blamed for a lot of these purchases, I guess. Yeah, I think he's <laughs> I have to play it. I hear nothing but fantastic things, but it's still sealed. Yeah, still sealed. All right, next up on the list, we have Paper Mario. Oh. I had to go, it's me, I'm audio. So I don't mispronounce it for you guys because I'm gonna get hate in the comments. Paper Mario Origami King. Uh, or Mario. <laughs> I, we are not. We I'm are, not big uh first, first party, party nintendo. nintendo yeah i don't know why we got it then i think we got it because we assumed it should be in our collection <laughs> you know what i'm gonna there's try there's gonna it. be a couple of those I will games try. i'm here. gonna try it we're gonna try it yeah. we're gonna try it. i tried uh the other paper mirror here on the gamecube but i eh, i didn't care much for it but uh alex liked it yeah he so did he really did it's Stays in the collection because eventually, eventually this, is all this goes to him anyway. Yeah. He'll sell it in the air too. There we go. <laughs> Romancing Saga 3. I don't know why they did it like that. Yeah. Who remember. puts their Switch games on the shelf like that? Well, they all put them on the shelf in a case like that. And just see the yeah, I suppose. But yeah, it's an RPG. Uh, graphically looks really good. Uh, other than that, I don't know anything about the Romancing Saga series. Mm -hmm. So. I think one and two are both on the PS2, and I don't have either one of those, yeah. so that's what kind of holds me back from, from playing, playing number it. three. I doubt they're all connected, because it tends to be separate that way. Okay. The only series, RPG series, I know that you really should play one to get the two is uh, Sui Koden. Yes, it's, because your save file carries over. Well, that, yeah, and the story and all that stuff. Yeah. This one I bought for you, but I don't know if you've ever played it. Super. Bomberman. Well, this was actually close to yours. Well, Say it, again. Super, Super Bomberman. Bomberman. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Have you it's grown out of Bomberman? One, it's Super Bomberman R. No, I just tend to play a game now Eight in... Eight players? Yeah. I tend to play a game now in the game room that has a story and has a start and has a finish. And these sorts of games seem more like a party game where you play yeah. for a little bit, you put it down. I don't they know if there's... Hate each other. Yeah, you're, you hate you're not each playing other. together, you're playing against each other. Yeah, I don't know if there's any sort of story mode in it where I would I play it. through it. But I used to be super into Bomberman. That was my jam when I played NES. Super, but oh, back on the NES? Yeah, NES? arcade. Yeah, yeah. There was a Bomberman on the NES? Or do you mean SNES? I do believe NES. I played Bomberman. Like, I don't know. I think I played it in, like it was an arcade kind of 51 games in one, maybe. Okay. So. Salt and Sanctuary. I don't know much of it. I think you picked this up. You picked up a bunch of I picked up games at the yeah. power one time. This was probably like three or four years ago. You yeah, picked them all and up. this has gone up in price since I picked it up. I looked this at the back player. of it. Yeah, I looked at the back really? of it. I looked... I, I, I looked at some gameplay and I was like, oh, this one looks a, really good. Kind of a Metroidvania. I would have to look it up, yeah. but it might well be. So there's two player on the back. I don't know if that's co-op or against each other, but. Yeah. Um, I would definitely be willing to try it. The art style is very dark. It gives me almost a little Castlevania vibes, but yeah. darker. Okay. Yeah. I'm thinking this one is probably the same thing. Slain back from hell. I think it was she bought it the same day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Same day. Got this one for an amazing price as well. Fifteen, 15 bucks. bucks. Yeah. Fifteen back bucks. Then. I don't know why it goes for now. But... Again, those retro Older. Castlevania type vibes. Probably a Metroidvania. Yeah. I I think it might be a uh, roguelike. I'm not entirely sure. Correct me in the comments. But uh, I, from what I understand, this one's a tough one. But I haven't played it. This I one mean, you bought. Skull, the Hulk. Hero Slayer. 
I think this one's kind of like Hollow Knight. I um, from sure. I think that's what I had heard about it, but graphically it looks pretty cool. Graphically, it kind of looks like uh, what gives me like almost I don't, it's Sonic's the wrong word for it, but it gives me Genesis vibes of graphics and the colors and stuff and the pixels and that. Look, see, I was kind of thinking a little Shovel Knight. Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I could see some Shovel Knight in that, but we haven't played it, so we really don't know a whole lot about it. Bye, my little. You did play this. Some of it. <sighs> Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I played some of the Super Mario 64. Didn't like it, did you? I, Didn't finish it. Anyway. You know what? I played probably two-thirds of this game. And I should really finish it. But I'm telling you, I slogged through two thirds of it. Yeah. Hot take, but I'm not big There's on it. There's two other games on there: Super Mario Sunshine and then also Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy. I hear really good things about both. Yeah. Um, I'll be the first to admit I'm I'm not reaching for a Super Mario game when I come down here to play a game. Yeah. Um, if it's a Mario game, I love playing Mario games like co-op. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably our favorite. Co-op versus. Yeah, yeah, co-op versus. <laughs> Huge co-op, you kill each other more than anything. Pretty much. Streets of Red. I think these are mine. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Streets of Red, uh, side-scrolling beat-em-up. We've played through it twice, and both times you didn't get the final boss ending because you need to have I think $666 money. is what you need. In, yeah, you need to at have least. that at the end. Uh, I think you need to have that exactly. Oh, exactly? Ooh, uh, maybe. Maybe. I, maybe. I, I, for some reason, I feel like it. It's one to four player. It's pretty short. It's really nothing it's to write home about. And I think the only reason it's still in the collection is because we never got the full I, I honestly really, really enjoyed it. I yeah. thought it was a lot of fun. And you're fighting like the undead. Yeah. in this one the whole entire time and it so i think it leans a little bit horror which is like horror inspired so that's why i enjoy it yeah probably is this mine yes okay sin mora x i don't know anything about this do you believe she's a schmuck and i got it in the bargain bin at walmart just yeah. because <laughs> yeah. it was 15 bucks was i was like oh, i'm gonna grab that and i grabbed that years ago and probably i haven't touched five it yet. now Probably. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know what? I haven't heard much of anything about the game, so... Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Is it worth it? Should we unseal it? It's lackluster. Oh, wow, yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna unseal it there. I don't think it's worth... It's probably not even worth 15 bucks now. Yeah. I think it's probably a little lackluster as probably. far as the shmup goes. Probably. Saga Frontier Remastered. I have not played either of the Saga Frontiers. Mm -hmm. I think there's two of them. I have the second one. I have a loose disc on the PS1. And that's why I grabbed this one, because I wanted to play the first one before that. Yeah. So, there you go. Now you got know. a way to do it. Yeah. Trine Ultimate Collection. So and we one, played... One, two, oh, three, four, four and five. five. We played all of We've them We've played here. all of them. Um, Trine 4 and 5 were both really, really good. 5, I think, is possibly the best, yes. but definitely maybe the hardest puzzles. Tales of Symphonia Remastered. Another reason why you do not want to play an RPG with your friends. Because we tried to play this, started to play it, they don't want to read anything! It's like a... It, RPGs are meant one player. Words come up on the screen and me and Jen's Dennis already go, hitting the button. Bip, 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 bip. Or, we're looking at our phone. Or we're looking at our phone. We're like, you'll let us know what that's about. Yeah, I'm like, could not kill the mood of a freaking story faster than play a co-op with people. <laughs> Trials of Mana or Mana, depending on. See, what I actually you have like. that on the. Uh, I think it's on a collection, also, isn't it? Probably. Yeah. We just like to buy them twice. Do I have to say more than I that? want to play it though. I know you it want to play good. it. Yeah. Yeah. Triangle strategy. Have not touched it yet. Sealed. Still sealed. Like I said before, I like to grab those RPGs so I can still get them. And I think this one was starting to disappear off shelves when mm -hmm. I convinced you to let me buy it. <laughs> yeah. I kept trying to buy you a different game other than this. I think I kept trying oh, yeah. to buy Bravely Default 2 again. Yeah, and you're I like, I already, already have, have that. that one, Jen, calm down. Yeah. Oh, another one we did play. We did play this uh, one. Ultimate Alliance 3, we had the a lot Black of fun with Order. It. We did have a lot of fun with that. I don't think it's like 
It's not gonna knock your socks no. off by any means, but it is a, a good couple nights. Yeah. It's fun. Oh yeah, and Dennis couldn't, like per usual, couldn't decide who we wanted to play with. Couple, so he just, just jumped back and played forth. with everyone. Didn't I play uh, as the Scarlet Witch? Maybe, I can't remember. I think I was Thor. Yeah, you were definitely Thor, Thor but I yeah. think I was, yeah. Valferas. Why do I want to say? Like me too. Valferas. <laughs> what is the song though that's in my head? It's a Megadeth song, no, right? No? no. Iron Man. No. Let us know in the comments. Read our Canadian. I version. do believe it's Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. We'll pop it up. Anyway. We won't play it. We'll difficult. Yeah, difficult. Yeah. Uh, Metroidvania, I'm assuming. You bought this with the other ones that yeah. you got. You got yeah. like the whole whack from like. I know. She came home with like four or five games. They were same all friggin' good games. I had probably to get them. 15 bucks. Oh yeah, probably something like that. No. Yeah. No, 34. So you paid 35 bucks for it back then. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Wild Guns Reloaded. I don't know if this one's gonna stay in the collection. Um, we played you and Dennis, it for like a half hour. you and De uh, Dennis, Dennis absolutely hated it. Yeah. Hated it. Um, you weren't loving it either. But and I'm always willing for me to, to try to play chance. with you two. <laughs> you can't play a game with people. You were definitely it. better than us. Definitely. Like. Oh, you guys were times. like, you spawn, you dead. Spawn, dead. I'm like, are you guys even? Do you have your controller? Where's Where's the controller? Are you trying? I couldn't even... It was ridiculous. Uh, anyway, what is the... Uh, well, it's Wild Guns Reloaded, so I don't know if it's, de it's a sequel to Wild Guns. No, I think it's just a remake of yeah, it. Yeah. yeah. Or a remaster. Wallachia! Reign of Dracula! Boy, I paid a lot for this game, but I had to have it. 80 bucks? 80 bucks! It's got the certificate this, uh, of authenticity. I was trying to convince her to buy it when it was 40 bucks. Should have listened to my husband. That's the last time I'll say that. It is uh, definitely a Castlevania inspired oh, yeah. game, but definitely looks arcade. Oh, yeah. Arcadey kind of. Yeah. It's. Uh, I am a huge. I hear it's tough. Yes. I hear it's I'm tough. I'm still going to play it. I'm a huge Metroidvania fan, and I just. And I'm a huge Castlevania fan. Yeah. How so about you do this was, one anyway? Because yeah. I don't have anything good to say <laughs> about this game. Nobody has anything good to say about this game because it makes you miserable. Jen, wa Jen made us play it on a, a live, we Crickets. did a live stream and it was Crickets. depressing, terribly, terrible. Did I get, in that version, did I get I, the father and the daughter? I don't know, I think I, I slipped my wrist there before it was finished. <laughs> it was it's, terrible. It's like the most heartbreaking, miserable, bad feeling game but you're just like, I think I can make them live longer. I think I can drag yeah. out the misery a little bit longer. <laughs> but the art style in it is what really is cool. What is wrong with you? I Put that know. away. I loved it. And I continue to pick it up. I'm going to make you take this one too. Okay. World of Horror. Now, if you haven't picked this one up, I think you're probably going to be upset you didn't because... I think this is going to be a very expensive game in the future, yep. and the art style on it is very different. Very cool art very style. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Black and white, just like pixel graphics. I am really interested to play this. I've tried, I know some about the game. I know it's like a horror inspired game, but I've tried not to dig too deep into it because I don't, don't want to spoil it for myself. You want to do the next one? Too? Yep. Yoshi's Craft It World. Just a really feel good, fun Mario spin off game. And the visuals in this, because they use like bits and pieces of craft material to form the levels in the game. So you can see that in the background, and it's really, really cool. It's not a hard game, but it was really, really fun. I would like, I would play a sequel to this in a heartbeat. I, had, I don't know if I've played. Uh, I think it's so, like Knit It World or something like we, that, but I do want to play we it. We both said that we're not great, you know, big uh, Nintendo first party yeah. games. I tend to like is, the spin-offs more. Okay, so... Like the spin-off outside of a Mario So franchise. you're saying like Donkey Kong is probably your favorite? Yeah. 
maybe Yoshi in there too. Yeah, and Luigi's Mansion. I Those are amazing. I think, because I've been thinking about this recently, I think um, the one Nintendo mascot game I enjoy to play is Kirby. Yeah! I enjoy Kirby games. You do? Yeah. yeah. This one I did play, Ease Ooh. Origins. Yeah. And it is phenomenal. Yeah. Music's great, graphics great, boss fights are amazing. Um, if you get to a boss and you, you're getting your butt kicked, just back out, go and grind a couple levels, and then come back in and you'll probably take them in the first or second time. Yeah. Time. See, that's yeah. an RPG I can get behind because... I, action RPG. Yeah, I love an action RPG. You'll love it. You'll love it. I know I will. Yep. All right, next on the list is Mo Monstrum Nox Packed Edition. <laughs> that was a lot to say. But it looks super cool. I, is I don't have much in the way of uh, experience when it comes to ease. I've played this one, and that yeah. was it. Yeah. I got that one, and I have eight on PS5. So yeah. I, I'm going to have to play more of them. I really love that one. I know other different style of games, but that, well, I'm there even are looking, action RPGs. As I'm even as I looking understand. at the back yeah. of it, and it looks like a darker version of that, like yeah. the art style. It's on the to-do list. Yes, and then we'll just bring these ones out both together because they're both Zelda games, Breath of the Wild and Link's Awakening. Breath of the Wild, I've played, I don't know, maybe eight-ish hours. Yeah. Games just not for me. Uh, um, you're probably noticing something's missing in this. There should be a third game. We didn't pick it up because I never we, got the second one. We didn't like Breath of the Wild. Wild Kingdom? Or is it no, no, no. What is it called? can't even remember. Um, I went control delete. I knew we weren't picking it up. I tried to play this one. I didn't. I, put, I got bored. I probably put six hours into it and I just couldn't. I just the crafting and yeah, I don't know. I just I think maybe I need to give it more time. I'm not opposed to the idea. I think Link's Awakening is more my style. I think Zelda, so too. Because I love uh, Link to the Past. I yeah. love that game. So and that yeah. is our Switch collection for 2024. What are we missing? I would love yeah. to know that. Uh, exclusives, more than anything. They're yeah. like exclusive to the console uh, because if I can play it on the PS5, quite honestly, I'm grabbing it on yeah. the PS5 or the PS4. And I, I have more controllers for that. Yeah. Everybody, our group, if it's a multiplayer game, love it. Yeah. If it's an RPG, I'll play it on either. I don't care. Yeah, and no. I don't mind playing uh, the Switch handheld. We have Hori split pads on our Switch. It's a game changer and I two docks it. so we can yeah. play it in either uh, room. We play two different rooms. Two different I rooms. only ever play it docked. And yeah. I play it handheld locked. So yeah. if it's a game that you think plays really well handheld, let me know. I might be interested in picking that up. And is there a standout game in our collection that you're like, oh, that's a great game? Or is there one you that you're like... You need to play like, that now, guys. Come yeah. on. Or is there one that you're like, avoid playing that. Yeah. I heard it was terrible. Or I, it was terrible. But anyways, yes, that's our Switch collection. 2024. 2024. Maybe 2025 we'll have a new console at that point. Maybe so. And until next time, game on. Game on! I need to do it at both cameras.